Welcome back to Hurricane Season 2020. And today we're going to be talking about some of the tools that you may need to have on hand after the storm. Coming right up. to hurricane season 2020 video number five and today we're going to be talking about some of the things that you may be using outside when you're cleaning up after a lovely hurricane oh joy so here we go first thing safety glasses make sure you have safety glasses if you're going to be working outside and you're going to be cutting anything um, you should always have safety glasses if you are um, working on just about any type of project uh, just to make sure that you protect your eyes. Your eyes are your most valuable thing. Um, so make sure that you have safety glasses when, when you're starting out. Um, next thing we're going to go to, we're going to start on this side of the table over here. Um, pair of snips. Now, you ask, why would you want a pair of snips? What am I going to really use those things for? Well, here, I'm here to tell you. These suckers here, say you have chain link fence, you have an out building that's uh, made out of aluminum, got destroyed, your chains wrapped, your chain link fence is wrapped around somebody's tree or your own tree, and um, you gotta try to get that thing out of there and cut that thing out of there. Um, secondly, you can take this and you can cut it out of there and you can make sure, you know, that you're doing it safely. You're not trying to use a little pair of wire snippers or something, you know? These things will cut right through it. You can take and you can cut up. If your building's destroyed, uh, you can cut it up with these and you can do it safely. Now, I've had these things for 20 plus years. I still have the same blades in it and it still cuts just good. I mean, yes, they're a little bit dull, but I cut everything with these things. I cut plastic, I cut everything. These things are great. <clears throat> you wanna make sure that you have a small pair of handheld little snippers here, you know, for trimming. You know, like if you had to reach in somewhere and trim something or whatever, it's a tight spot, you know, it's a lot easier to do it with this than say a pair of these or a pair of these, you know, if you're in a tight area, you know, and these you can carry right in your pocket, you know, and you'd be good to go. The next thing is you want to make sure that you have a knife on you. Have a knife on you at all times. Um, you don't know what you're going to run into if you're out there, you're cleaning stuff up and you know, if say you had stuff that was tied down and it blew all over the place and you got to cut stuff. Um, the last thing you want to be doing is running back and forth from wherever it is and you, you got to try to find your knife or whatever. Just make sure your knife is on you. Um, you know, most cases all come with the belt loop. Put it right on your belt and you're good to go and your knife is with you. <clears throat> Next thing is, is to have a small hatchet. Now, having a small hatchet compared to an axe, um, in another situation is if you're in a tight spot and you need to chop something out or whatever else, you know, you can swing this a lot easier than you can an axe. Um, so, you know, having a, a decent, you know, little hatchet is very beneficial. Uh, this comes from SOG. Uh, it's a metal uh, handle with a rubber grip around it. It's a nice, it's not real heavy and, um, it comes with a little sheath that goes over it. It's a great investment. Um, I, I, I got it right on Amazon. Next thing, pry bar. And you need a pry bar for just about, you can use them for various things, um, especially if you're having to work on your own roof or fix things like that. You need to pry things away or pry things off. You know, having a good uh, pry bar, you know, you, this is uh, a smaller one. You can get long ones. You can get them in any size and any price range. It's all in what you can afford. Um, if you have a lot of bushes on your property, I would suggest that you invest into a machete. Now this machete has a saw on the back side and then the knife part on this side. Now this comes from SOG and I did buy it from them. And um, when it does come, it is uh, not really too sharp, so you're gonna have to sharpen it. 
And when it comes to sharpening like your tools and stuff, um, Smith's makes this great little sharpener. I kind of was hesitant uh, when I saw this. I watched a couple videos on it and um, Amazon had these on their website last year for half price. A regular like 20 bucks, they had them for $10. So I figured for 10 bucks, what the hell, I'll try it. They work really good. The only thing that I would say is um, it's, it's very hard to hold this while you're doing this. So if you had like a vise, um, it would be a lot safer and a lot easier to put like this or your hatchet in. These, these are, this is made for like a machete, an ax, a hatchet. Um, they say you can do a knife. They don't really recommend it. Um, but, you know, of course comes to worse, you can always, you know, fall back on the good old file, you know. You can pick these up. They're really cheap. Um, pick up a good file and, and you can sharpen all, all your objects, um, whatever you need. <clears throat> One quick thing to remember, if you have a chainsaw and if you know how to operate your chainsaw properly, make sure that you're wearing the proper equipment and you know what you're doing with your chainsaw if you're out there and you're using it to cut up debris after the hurricane. Because the last thing you want to do is come up missing the wrong limb, if you know what I mean. Now when you get into your bigger stuff, you want to make sure that you get an axe. Now these come in a, you know, a variety of sizes. This is a, a 24 inch. Um, they, they come longer and everything else, but this is a perfect size for me. And for my preference, I like a solid wooden handle. I do not like the fiberglass on something that I am swinging. So make sure that uh, my opinion would be to get the wooden handle, you know, and this way here, it's a less of a chance of that thing snapping on you when, if you're really chopping some stuff. Um, you can get yourself a pair of a uh, little bit bigger trimming, uh, trimming shears, um, some limb trimmers. You know, these things will cut up to a couple inches in diameter, you know, safely. Um, as you do see, these are, you know, uh, fiberglass and these are Walmart specials. Same with my bow saws. Now I have my regular bow saw that I use all of my time and I have a backup. Reason being is, little tip for you everybody. At the end of the season, right around just before when they start putting out all their Christmas stuff, you go to Walmart and you go back to the gardening section uh, especially for all of us that live in the south, you know, nothing grows down here in the winter, you know, and they discontinue everything. So, that's a good opportunity to save some money. So, I pick up, I picked up these for eight bucks, which are regular, like, almost twenty dollars. They had these for five dollars. And the bow saws... They had those for three bucks. That's the reason I was like, eh, what the hell, I'll buy an extra pair. You know, you just never know. So that basically covers um, some of the tools and things that you will need outside, especially if you do not have power, um, to start cleaning up your yard, start working around the house. If you have to fix the roof or something like that, um, you know, uh, more than likely, a lot of this is just going to be for, you know, your tree debris, any building, outbuildings that might have fell down or, you know, you've got limbs in your yard from your neighbors, uh, the whole nine yards. Um, but the one main thing is just to make sure, I'm going to reiterate because it's very important, is safety goggles. That is the number one thing you want to make sure that you have, whether you have any of this or not. If you're going to be working outside, especially cleaning up debris after a hurricane, is a pair of safety goggles. So, my name is Charles. This is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. I thank you for what you do for my channel. I thank everybody for watching my videos, for hitting like, hitting subscribe. And until next time, I'll catch you all on the flip side.